Hello and welcome to Time to Sew. My name's Emma, today I'll be showing you some very simple stamping techniques using our Word Like Honey, Memento Ink and some Pro Markers. Don't worry if you're not artistic, this is for everyone. So, shall we begin? Here's the two cards I'm making in this video. These are both from stamp set WLHC 025. And the first one we're going to do is the one on the right, which is the Still Waters. So, to start with, I'm going to get all my material, which is my acrylic block, my clear stamp that I paste on top of the block, as so, my different colour paper to mount it on, glossy card for the image, and my sticky tape runner. So, just as I get everything together, Now I'll explain to you about the ink. I'm using the Memento Cocoa Brown because I find the black is sometimes too harsh. So what am I going to do is I'm going to take the ink and I'm stamping it all over the image just so I get a nice crisp image. As you can see it's so easy to do with these teardrops. Then I'm going to place this onto my glossy card and stamp. Now to speed things up because I'm sure you don't want to see my colouring techniques all I'm doing now is applying the pro markers to the image so I've done the figure I'm now at the moment doing the grass then I'm going to do the water's edge and then just to finish it I'm just going to do these reeds and I hope you can see just those three colours has highlighted that image and that stamp so well. It doesn't need any more. So, that's our first stamp done. Should we move on to the second? Right, for this one I have used the Parish Dusk Memento ink. So once again, I placed it onto my acrylic block and stamped it onto glossy card just to give it a nice crisp finish like so. Next I'm going to be doing the background using the Crackle stamp which is from set WLHC041. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same blue which was Parish Dusk and I'm going to stamp this all over the back. It's cardstock. So very gently tapping it all over making sure I've got nice even coverage now the stamp itself is uneven as a normal crackle effect would be so you don't need to worry about lining it up or if it overlaps because you will not see and you will not tell so starting from the bottom I'm going to cover my whole cardstock with it once again inking up the stamp and placing it on the cardstock All our clear stamps are available on the website. We have a very wide range. If you have not seen them, go to www.timetosew.com and type in in the search words like honey or WLH. As you will see, we have clear, we have wooden, we have peel offs, we have decoupage, we have background papers, we have such a wide selection, it's difficult to list them all. So, as you can see, I'm continuing to stamp up my cardstock. As you can see, I haven't given much care to whether it overlaps or not, and you can't really see the joins, which I'm very grateful for, I must admit. Now, I'm not too worried about the centre, because that is what we'll be covering using our previous Dove stamped image. Now, the reason I'm clearing my background board for is this ink is still very very wet and very glossy and if I don't clear it I'll end up getting smudges all over my background card but hey a happy smudge normally finishes off the card perfectly so once you're happy with your stamped background I'm going to take my dove image and I'm going to trim this and mount it onto a coordinating blue so very gently just cutting all the edges
Now at this point, if you want to use your Spellbinders or your Sizzix, um, Madeline's or whatever die cuts you got, you're more than welcome. But for this card, I just wanted the simplicity of the image, the message and the colour. So, moving all my waist aside, I'm going to get my coordinating blue background and using my sticky tape, I'm going to apply the stamped image onto it and then I'm going to go back to trimming. See, if I was professional, I had these all nicely cut out, all the right size, but <laughs> I just enjoy crafting too much to be professional. So once again, back to my cutter. And start measuring the edges. Also on the website, we have a wide selection of cutting. Mats, boards, sizzics, punches, you name it, we've got it. Yeah, once happy with it, I'm going to take my sticky tape once again and I'm going to place it onto my background card. So, one, two, and apply it onto my card. Making sure it's central. Sticking it down firmly. And that's your finished image. I hope you agree with me, the colour and the image does all the talking for you. So I don't need to add any more Flounces. Well, I hope that's given you some inspiration using different inks and different stamps and I hope to see you again next month. Please come and see us on Facebook, like our page and give us any comments if there's any techniques, any stamps, any occasions you would like to see us provide for, then please let us know. We won't know unless you contact us. Thank you again and God bless.